Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Persnickety. Welcome back to Thimbleweed Park, and we are at the very end of the game here, the last level. All you need to do is wrap up each of these characters' stories. It really doesn't matter what order you do it in. I'm going to go ahead and start with Agent Ray, and what you're going to want to do with her is go to the hotel. Now, at the end of level 8, uh, Chuck gave each character a different inventory item, which is what they use to wrap up their story. And so you see in uh, Ray's inventory here, she got a trophy. And so what we're going to have to do with that trophy is return to the hotel here and go up to ThimbleCon. And everyone will be gone except for one guy. So go ahead and walk up to him and give him the trophy. Hey, nerd. You won some kind of dumb award nobody cares about. Game of the year! We won! I have to go tell the others. Nerd. And now so I need to find the secret I'm being paid to, to recover. finally wrap up Agent Ray's somewhere. story, you're just gonna pick up the puzzle dependency chart issue the dialogue, and that will be the end of her story. Congratulations, Agent Ray. You have found a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart. It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. We honor our agreements. That tickled. Alright, her story is completely done. Now we're going to wrap up Agent Reyes. So with him, we're going to go to A Street, and we're actually going to be going to Nickel News, which is the journalist little shop. And he received the confession that his father is innocent, and so we're going to give this confession to the journalist and sh so that she can publish the story, and that will resolve uh, Agent Reyes's story. So go ahead and give this scroll right here, the confession, to Natalie. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Caught any more killers? I have a big scoop for you. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that it's really going to matter, but it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Almost done. Done. Alright, and that will officially end his story. Now you're going to switch to Ransom, and with him, you're going to go to Main Street South. And this may seem a little weird, but if you remember, at the very beginning of the game, it was the girl in the diner who triggered Ransom's flashback. And so we actually need to give her this apology letter so that she will send us back into that flashback. I know it sounds weird, but that's what you need to do. So go ahead and go into the diner and give her this uh, doesn't card. Seem to work. Or whoops, okay, not use. Give her the card. I got this for you, Sandy. Look, I'm not one to get all apologetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. I really mean that. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? I want to do just one more show and maybe not be such a He deserves one last chance, Sugarcakes. Okay, Ransom. But only because he got me this nice card. Let's see if I can remember the lines. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. 
Well-earned doom is not on the program. This is my last chance. I'm not gonna blow it. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed uh, fine folks. All right, so now you're gonna head out to the stage here, and you're gonna get to do your show Hello, one last faces. time. Now the I'm difference here the is that um, you'll I have a choice. You can be mean easily, or you can you be do, nice. The choice well, is up to you. It really doesn't matter, I but really do keep in mind that, that uh, there's an achievement this time for getting Ransom's bad ending. And what that means is that at this final show here, you still decide to be hey, bad. You, so dude, I'm going to go ahead and choose mustache. that option just to go ahead and get the achievement. But like you see here, you can do the original response, which is the mean response, or you can do a nice one. A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Again, the decisions hey, here don't really matter, but just note that you can get an achievement for doing all of the bad choices, and uh, that's some, that's an achievement that you can only get at the end of the game. Were you in a past life or something? Seriously, kid, you're in a wheelchair, and you got a face that looks like that? God's definitely punishing you for something. Hey, you! Ugly old lady with the hairy mole! Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is... I hope you bought it a separate ticket, because if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup, and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. He never learned his lesson. <laughs> his beephole instincts ran too deep. I blew it! Oh, I blew it! Oh, what have I done? Oh, I blew it! Okay, so kind of a sad ending there for Ransom, but you can see you'll get this achievement here if you choose the bad decisions, and that's just something... Uh, why not? You might as well just do it. Now, what we're gonna do as Dolores is we are going to go to the hotel. And, uh, we basically have to figure out what happened to our dad. And so, to do that, you're gonna go up to the penthouse and you're gonna go into the ritual room, which is, uh, a place that we've been before, so this should all be pretty familiar with you. And so now we're pretty much done with every character. We just have to wrap up uh, Frank the Ghost and Dolores and then we will be officially done with the game. So go ahead and go up to P for Penthouse and um, then you're going to go into the uh, ritual room like I said before. Once you get up there you're going to switch to Frank and you're going to do the same exact thing. And I actually found out something which unfortunately I did not find this out until the very end of the game. It would have saved me a bit of time had I figured it out earlier, but um, you can actually use the elevator as Frank, so even if the elevator is not on the floor the that you're on, isn't on this floor. it turns out you can just zap the control here to call the elevator. That is something that I should have figured out way beforehand, but unfortunately did not. Um, so sorry I didn't share that with you, but chances are you guys were able to figure it out on your own anyway. Um, so now as Frank, we're going to make our way up to the penthouse, and before we can talk to Dolores, we need to get Xavier's crystal. So Xavier is going to be over here on the balcony, and now that Chuck has gone through this awesome adventure, you finally have the courage to yell at uh, Xavier and get the crystal. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. You're a bully and a tyrant. Whoa, sounds like new ghost found some spunk. My name is not New Ghost, it's Franklin. Careful, or it's to the basement for you. Everyone hates you. I've about had enough of you, New Ghost. We're all sick of your bullying. Okay, that kind of hurt. You clearly have some self-esteem issues. Really? Am I that bad? We all just want to move on. I just want to see my wife again. I'm lonely, and I miss her. I died, and I never told her how much I loved her. It's okay. We all miss someone we love. <laughs> so after that conversation, Frank will pick up the crystal here, 
And now we can go in here, and with the crystal in our possession, we can finally talk to Dolores and wrap this up. Dolores. Oh, Dad. You've lost some weight? Well, you could say that. Not sure how it happened, but I'm, you know, dead. And I think your uncle had something to do with it. It's okay. I think I know what is going on. It's so good to see you. Well, it's good to see you, too. I wish I, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. That's okay. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Maybe because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. You have nothing to be sorry for. Wait, your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? Oh, Uncle Chuck was a jerkwad, but mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. When he discovered the truth, he knew what he had to do. He was a jerk to me before that. I know he was. A simulation? That can't be true. It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us all. Ah, by free us all, you mean go back to our real lives? I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. You should get going. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on now. I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. Goodbye, Dolores. Goodbye, Dad. All right, and now we have one final objective. And so the clue here is you can watch the original Kickstarter video, which is, uh, if you didn't know, this game was a Kickstarter campaign. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save you from that. You can watch it if you want to, but basically you're going to go to the bridge, which was the very beginning of the game. The dead body is right here, and you're going to use the balloon animal on the dead body. Oh, no. This can't be good. The game is glitching. Tubular. Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world, the game's concept level the developers built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down. All right, and so now you see this really cool thing that the game did is they gave it this really retro, old-looking feel. Maybe this was like a alpha version of the game or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, what we need to do is you've lost your map. That's okay. It really just wants you to see the city in this view now. Um, but go ahead and make your way back to the factory. And once you get to the factory, we're going to go to the machine. We're going to push in all the tubes, and that will once and for all trigger the end of the game. So, same path. I can't reach that. Nothing here has changed. Go ahead and go to the abandoned factory. Uh, you'll see that we're now at the front, so go ahead and walk to the gate and just open the gate. Head inside. You'll notice that the music is gone, too. This part's really funny. Go ahead and listen to this. I don't think there's any animation for that. We can probably walk right through. So, funny enough, you can actually just walk through the doors here. Go ahead and walk through this door, walk down through the blast door. You'll notice all of these rooms that we previously were in, they're all, like, low-budget looking. You can just walk right through the lasers here. Um, continue to the end of the room, you'll notice that there is the uh, ceiling fan, or not the ceiling fan, the giant uh, factory fan that we turned off earlier. You can actually just walk right through it, and then you'll come to this room here, you'll see the machine, and you can walk to the opening. Now once in here... This looks like the wireframe pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and will end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Of course, that's what Uncle Chuck says, and there's still a chance he's insane. 
All right, so just go ahead and one by one, you're gonna use each of these tubes, push it in, and that will trigger the end of the game. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this walkthrough was able to help you out. Like and subscribe if you get the chance. It's always nice to see the support. Feel free to leave a comment below letting me know what you thought of my walkthrough, what you thought of the game, anything like that. This was a really different game for me. This isn't the type of game I usually play, but it looked really fun. It looked like a nice refreshing break, and I decided to give it a shot, even though it was fairly difficult to figure out some of these puzzles. So there you go, guys. One more tube, or two more tubes, and you'll be done with Thimbleweed Park. So once again, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you in future walkthroughs. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay. This is it. I'm going to do it. Let's end this.